Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane Zikari. In the last video, you saw pass-through option with Stack Ensembler. Let's see now how to do hyperparameter tuning with Stack Ensembler option. With the earlier example, we had seen this with, with and without pass-through. Viewers, those of you who haven't watched the earlier two videos, the link has been given in the description box of this video. Now, we need, need to make a change in our earlier program. Let's do that. Hence, as you see over here, we have made necessary imports of two classes over here. Let's proceed with editing this code for grid search. Also, let's try one more final estimator. We had tried last time the final estimator as random forest classifier. Let's also try gradient boost classifier in our research. Hence, we have imported this. Now, as you see, we also are adding the instance of GBM. And let's consider about the stack. Over here, I am deliberately not going to specify any other option, also not the pass through, because we are going to try it out in our grid search. To start with, with the grid search, we require to see the available keywords which we can use for our grid search in our grid search code. So, as you can look at this, we have the keyword pass through which can be availed. We also have the keyword called final estimator and many other keywords related to other base estimators. Let's write the parameters or I can say let's write the parameter dictionary. Well, as you can see, I am specifying the few parameters over here. I searched across the parameter set available keywords and I am trying out for logistic I am trying out different penalties I am trying out the gamma values some C values kernel both linear and RBF for SVM tree width pass through with and without let's try both and final estimators random forest as well as GBM and as you see both of these have the common common same uh, keyword that is n estimator that is number of trees and hence we are trying out for 50 75 and 100 hence now considering these parameters let's execute the grid search it might take some time well for some of the options which weren't feasible the scores haven't been calculated but let us see the best score and the best params so hence is the best score and the best param now let's capture the object of the best score into an object called called best model which can be further used for prediction here comes the best estimator and let us now reuse this for our predictions We can also reuse this for all the things like predict probabilities and let's evaluate this. So is our score, accuracy score and log loss and comparing this with the earlier two, we can see that we have achieved the best. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button and for next videos from me, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you.